Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, everybody? What's going on? Welcome to another episode of the Can You Blame Me podcast. I am your host, Raphael. And just in case y'all first time listeners, Can You Blame Me podcast is a podcast we speak on hip hop culture, social issues, everyday life challenges, entrepreneurship, and I even have friends and family on the show, man. And today, Hefe, 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 Hefe in this bitch. Bino, NC Bino in here, man. But he brought the whole team with him, man. Bino, what's up, my boy? Hey. That's good, bit, bro. Good. Hey, man. I rock, hey, man, I'm finna tell y'all, bro. I rock Bino for real. And and we met mutually, you know what I'm saying, through a, through a place of business or whatever. And um, he let me check out his music one day. You know, in Atlanta, everybody rap. You know how that go. And um, I think the song I gravitated to, was uh what's the song I told you I gravitated to it. I, I know you got a song with your daughter, but it's another song. Uh, it, it it ain't the daughter song though. I think it's the song on um, Feel What Robert Feel or Yeah. Feel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I heard that, yeah. bro, like you know what I mean? I don't know because I'm older. Yeah. I go I was going through something at the time with the yeah. Dores to Sean Rodway type of vibe with you. I don't know. I just gravitated to it. Sure. And like I, I like the realness of it. And then you know what I mean? Like I just kind of told you, bro, like, as I work on my business, work on my brand, yeah. I'm going to kind of plug you in. Yeah, and we yeah. here with it. Yeah, yeah. We here with it. We so, so introduce who we got with us, man. Man, this my bro, man. This my brother, man. What's going, going on? What's going on? For sure. Talk to the folk, man. Let yeah, these folk know. Thing. You know what's going on. Day one shit. That my bro. That my boy. For you know sure. what's going on. Blood ain't changing that. For sure. For sure, yeah. man. That my bro. For yeah. sure, man. Ain't so, to say. Bro. Already. And actually, bro. Stank the reason I started rapping. You feel me? Talk to these folk, Bino. Like, Talk to like, the mic, Bino. Like, that ass, like, back in the day, bro, because Stank been singing since he was a damn baby. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I mean, church and shit. But then when we met in, like, middle school and shit, you feel me? I ain't started take, taking rapping for real to, like, high school. You know what I mean? Started going to the studio with him and shit because he was, you know, recording. He made me get on a song. Ever since then? Been up from there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. My thugs just like, uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and last but not least, bro, hey, man, my boy is known straight out of South Carolina, boy, Bamberg, Orangeburg, Columbia. Hey, man, DJ Futuristic, man. I'm telling y'all, bro, this man been doing this for a long time. He back on the scene. And, man, the whole South Carolina is behind him, bro. We got him up here, man. DJ Futuristic, what's up, my boy? Hey, yeah, man, what's the word, man? For sure, for sure, man. Hey, man. What been going on with you, my boy? Hey, man. Just trying to stay locked in, man. Getting it popping in these streets, man. For you know sure. It is, dog. For sure. For sure, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow my boy DJ Futuristic. He back on the scene, man. South Carolina, we here. You dig? And uh, that's where we at with it, man. So we going to get started. So, you know, um, I guess I guess we'll start with me, though, man. Like what's what's you you did kind of touch on it, man. So what's the inspiration behind the music? You know what I'm saying. So like, I mean, like this. I guess nah. Let these folk know what's going on. Where you from? And just give people like a little bit of overview about who Bino is. I mean that shit really kind of divide. You know I'm from like Lutherville, Georgia, a little smaller. Lutherville. Town. I know about Lutherville. You feel me? Yeah. I'm from there, but you know I got family. I'm talking to Mike. Too. Behind, yeah. You know I got family from Noonan too and shit. So you know what I mean kind of half and half there. You feel me? But. Like, shit, with the music and shit, bro, this shit, like I said, when Stank put me on, we just started going up from then, you feel me, making music, because I was more into, like, throwing the parties and shit, you feel me, on the promotion side, you know what I mean, with my brand and shit, no cliche, and, you know, Stank always have been fucking with the music, so I was just like, shit, let me try this shit, you know what I mean, right. ever since then, that motherfucker been my biggest critic, like, for real, biggest critic, you feel me, like, nah, that shit, that shit, he gonna tell me, that shit, try, try. 
If that shit's straight, it's straight. For man, sure. Hell yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. So you been locked in for how long? How long you been at it now? Shit, man. Shit. Doing music or me and Stank? Well, both. Really? Shit, me and Stank been locked in since eighth grade. Eighth grade. Sixth grade. Yeah, really. Seventh sit, grade. Yeah, seventh grade. Summer, summer going to eighth grade yeah. type shit. You feel For me? sure. Hell yeah. And the music about like, about what, three years, two, four years? Hell no. It's like seven. About seven years. Like oh, for just as long? I almost like, have to like, say Like 2000. I've been doing music since like 2013. You feel me? I started in high school, like my junior year. I graduated in 14. You feel me? I started doing the shit in like 13. Okay. Twelve, probably on some bullshit. You feel me? Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. But, Stank, talk to you for telling a little bit about you, man. You know, it's Stank. You know what's going on? Not much, not much. You know, I do my little thing on the music end. And you rap and sing? Yeah, I do a little. I'm an artist, man. I ain't no rapper, I ain't no singer. Nigga, I might drop some country shit on your ass. You feel me? I do music, man. So ain't much to say. I just love that shit. For real, for real, bro. So who, who, who? Like, you know what I mean? Like who is some of your inspir- who you rocking with now? Who and who some of your inspirations is? Chris Brown, that my nigga. I mean, I'm gonna forever be 100. That my favorite artist. You feel me? It's just that what I was brought up in. Like he said, the church and shit, singing in the cry. You feel me? I ain't had no choice. My ass was singing Sunday. You feel me? So shit, I just got older and put it in my own perspective, my own little flavor with that shit. You feel me? For sure, for sure. Dang, that hard, man. And you got some you got some projects out right now? Yeah, I got a project out right now on our platform. On our platform. We're gonna get into that too. We're gonna get into that too, man. Dang, bro. So futuristic, man. Hey, you already know what's going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh for the people who wanna know, like, you know, where you been and what's coming up and you know, answering all the critics, man. Let's talk to them, folks. Where, what's been going on Future Recent, man? Hey, man, you know, back in South Cat, man, you know where I'm from, man. Like, hey, we about to get it popping, man. We about to take over the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got parties everywhere, you know what I mean? We got 90s parties coming up, and we going to do a lot of lit parties. We going to do early 2000s, and we also going to do parties for the young folks, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Their generation. Right. So we pulling for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. For the old school, new school. And the generation right now. Right, 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 right. And, and, and you know, a lot of people want to know, like, you know, where you been and stuff like that, man. You just had to take some time off, to, you know, get yourself together. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff been going on with this pandemic, bro, including myself. I done opened up about it. Hey, hey bro, I ain't trying to make nobody cry. I lost seven people last year. My cousin, most recent one. So I mean, this, my, this, this, my, this my cousin, man. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of shit going on, boy. But, hey, we had to bounce back. You did? Because the show must go on. The business don't stop. The hustle don't stop. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm bringing all y'all together, man. I want to, like, touch on, since we all up and coming, you feel me what I'm saying? Like, touch on the grind part of it, bro. Like, I know, bro, I, I, when I spoke to you, you were talking about, like, you bring your team and your cameraman, bro. Oh, hell yeah. I love to hear that. Cause, bro, that shit just, bro, because we all do the same thing. We all going for the same goal, you feel me? Like, shit, one make it, we all make it. It don't matter who it is first. It ain't, you know, competition. It's just like, we just doing this shit, you feel me? Right. Like, for real. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and talk to the folks a little bit behind the scenes about, like, not putting no numbers out, but, like, exactly, like, the groundwork that you having to put in Yourself being independent, shit. putting your own money up. Just give these folks a little sample of what it takes. I mean, independent shit. It's hard as fuck. Like, and financially, you got to be there. You feel me? You got to have your own little hustle, do what you got to do to get it. But you got to get it done. That shit ain't easy and that shit ain't cheap. <laughs> and at the same time, but for me, I feel like did the fun part, the grind. Because yeah. I think about it. Once you make it, once you got all these millions you been wanting, then what? It's just like, I got it now. So right. Like, Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like this right here, the this is the fun part that just the drive to get there. You know what I'm saying? That ambition just want it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. To me, you feel me? No, nah, that's real. It yeah. give me like a little adrenaline, you feel me? Cause certain yeah. shit I do, it's like it levels, like I just I'm catching it like you each can feel level. Yourself progressing you feel shit. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's a good feeling personally, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. I literally like I know you for a short period of time, but I literally seen you. Just like, you know, working, stacking your grind up, stacking your paper up, and flipping it. You know what I mean? You even had money to play with. Got your tattoo, the Cartier's on. Got, man. Nah, but, this ain't no Cartier. Shit. <laughs> hey, you, good, hey, though, you doing, you eating, you doing shit. good. You know what I mean? Because I know you. everybody was in grind mode when I first met you. Right. Like, hey, man, yeah. I'm just trying to run it up. You know? Yeah, yeah. And I can tell, like, you you, you got a good business mind because you're taking that and reinvesting it into yeah. yourself and oh. the brand. She, oh, she, shout out. She keep me on point with all this. You want to introduce yourself to the folk, man? 
Come talk to him, man. Let these people know. Talk to your hey man. Right. You talk to the mic. All right, man. Everybody know who it is. Just drop right. tapping in one time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, being on my business partner though. We uh we go back to them throwing party days. We started right there. Um and we just been pushing ever since. You know, right. like we pushing out the brand. Like we said, we hate we didn't bring you that shirt, but we coming back up here with it. Yeah, y'all come uh, we'll bring y'all some stuff up here. Definitely gear. Uh, tap in. Uh, y'all can see it on that. Think oh, different, yeah. move different, Choose feel different. different. Oh, Choose different. Choose different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Power I'm to sure. mind. Be yeah, different. Yeah. Be different. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what set you apart. Just set yourself apart. You know what I'm saying? Embrace who you are. That shit, yeah. Ooh, that's big facts. Big, yeah. big facts, man. So, I guess, man, my next question is, you know what I'm saying, um... Uh, What's what's the inspiration? Like you said, Chris Brown. Who's some of the people that inspire you? Shit, bro. I just love Future, bro. Future. Yeah. Like besides, like listening to like little old school shit, I be listening to bro, Future. I just vote Future. Okay. You know what I'm, I'm big on that big hefe shit. You know what I'm saying? I stand on that shit. It is what it is. Yeah. Everybody know me. Know it. It is what it is. It is what it ain't. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Future musically, like as an artist. Yeah, that my guy. For like, sure. I've been fucking with Future since like Road to Rich. That before that. Oh, that's right. a long you time. Yeah, yeah. Like, you for real yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like for real. Yeah. You been fucking with underground Future. Yeah. 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 So when people hear your music, like, you know, I guess they can if you I don't want to say compare you, I hate when I ask that compare yourself to anybody. But when they hear your music, you gonna hear the like future inspirations, the ride wave. Nah, and- see, I ain't never got that. The only thing I got is because like my nasally accent. You feel me? Okay. Yeah, folks say like Jose Guapo. You feel me? Jose Man, Guapo. That's just on that. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, okay. That's the only like. That's what you like, hear the most. Yeah, celebrity comparison. I done got type shit. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dang man. But other than that, see people from like not from Atlanta or Georgia or anything. Yeah. Like. Some folks I knew from Houston, you know what I'm saying? I'm on club, huh? I'm mm. with some folks in Houston. I'm playing my shit. Motherfucker was like, I sound like, uh, who the fuck they said? It's an Atlanta artist. God damn. No, they they told me I sound like, uh. It's a new Atlanta artist? Nah, bro. It, damn. It ain't Lil Baby, bro. It's somebody on Lil Baby count, bro. They told me I sound like him. I want to say dirty tape, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. It's just because that nasally, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm like, hell nah, but. Somebody from like Texas and shit, they they not using that shit. Cause I was just in Houston last weekend. I seen that, so, bro. I seen so you in Houston, yeah. The, I was at a spot called Count Houston. The music they don't even play on like Atlanta shit like that. They on some other shit. So the vibe really. So they weird. got their own vibe. Yeah, like yeah, that shit weird. But I, I paid the DJ to play some Atlanta shit. I'm like, come on, bro. You know what I mean? And speaking going. of, and and that's why I had one to plug y'all in too, bro. Because with him having the market he has on on his side, yeah. y'all all can network, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? So can I ask you a question from that from that perspective? Oh yeah, for sure. All right. So like, boom, we in Houston. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how South Carolina music scene is, but like, you know what I mean? Right I know you don't like nobody coming up to you. on no, here, here go this. You know what I'm saying? Play my song. You want to build? You know what I'm saying? Build a network with them, and then like, you know what I mean? Chop it up at least. And then, you know, talk about playing my song or whatever, whoop, 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 whoop. But being a DJ, what I'm going to ask you is, like, if you was, like, somewhere else, you know what I'm saying, somebody came up to you with the same request I, you know what I'm saying, came to, like, how would you feel, like, you in South Carolina and somebody from somewhere else, but they want to hear their type, like? See, uh, see, we we different, man. Like, me, I think different, dog. Like, you want to come up, I want to come up. Fact. I'll play your junk, you Fact. know what I'm saying? Fact. And if the people respond to it, that's not on me. You know what I'm saying? Fact. Like, you feel me? Because I'm going to play your junk if you ask me to, Fact. out of respect. Right. Because I want to see the next man win. That's how I feel about it. Right. For sure. Yeah, oh, for okay. Sure. So basically, I get what you're saying. It basically, like, you can put it out there, but it's up to the people how they take it. Up to the people how they take it. Yeah, how they sure. take it. But see, every DJ don't think like he think. Every DJ, some DJs got egos and... You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm saying at the same time, if I look out for you, you probably look out for me. Like, yo, Fact. this DJ was cool. Fact. He played my junk. You probably shot me out if you make it. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. The vibe had to come from somewhere. Exactly. And artists forget that a lot. And the, and the and re. I, I, and our job as a DJ. Talking to the mic. Um, oh, my bad. Our job as a DJ is to break artists. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So if I discover an artist, that means I won. You know, exactly. I'm spreading that energy. Exactly. 
But people forget that, though. You know what I'm saying? People sleep on producers and the DJ all the time. They just so caught up in the rapper, the rapper, the rapper. They ain't thinking like the DJ pushed the song. He broke the artist. The producer made the beat. You know what I mean? Right. That's I feel facts. like I feel like they slept on. You know what I'm saying? They right. real underrated, and producers should get and DJs should get as much credit as the artists. You know right? It's a it's a yeah it's a, it's a hand in hand. It's cross promotion. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know, just as much time we put in recording, just talking shit in the mic. They do making the beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Spinning that shit, keeping the crowd yeah. right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then and then on 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 another note too, man, I want to get into like like goals, like you know what I mean? Like where you see the brand five years from now? What's the goal for the brand? Shit. Five years from now, from today, you know, storefront somewhere for like, sure. At that point, you know what I mean. You feel me? We yeah. manifesting all that shit. Storefront somewhere. I'm talking about global. I'm talking about like more than one location type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, on some Nipsey type. Shit. Yeah, yeah, for like, real, for, for real. Sure. Yeah, you know what I mean, cause I mean, think about it. Like you know, most people brand. You can't sell to like a business corporation or that. Ours is like anybody can wear it. You know what I mean? Kid, whatever, you know, this and that, ain't nothing provocative on it or nothing. You right. know what I mean? It's think different. Think different. You feel me? Oh, that's the name of it, think different. Yeah, think different. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's the name of it, you know what I mean? So all, so everybody's think different? You think different? No, that's just the clothing brand, you it's feel me? It's oh, it's all, the clothing. It's oh. all, the brand is no cliche. The oh, NC. Brand. Okay, yeah. so everybody yeah. NC. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Okay. You feel me? But like the brand, like we branched out with the clothing is shit, think different. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, it's okay. all under no cliche, though. You know what I'm saying? No cliche. Because, you know what I mean? Some folk, you know. I ain't going to lie. I thought they were North Carolina. Everybody asked me that. I have people hit me up all the time. You from North Carolina, bro? Yeah. I was like, hell no. Nah. Right. right. <laughs> it means no cliche. You know what I mean? Right. And that's what, that's you know, the, that's the being cliche is. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we know cliche. No cliche. And that's yeah. why we branched out think different. You see what I'm saying? Who the ma- Who the ma- who, who? Y'all put y'all. All y'all come up. No, oh, y'all, too. Down, too. Yeah. Them too. That go handy. I like that. You know so, cause you they listen. came up with that no cliche shit too. Cause you know me back in the day we was all click, you know squad. No right. doubt we found you feel me like, right. all the way together. But he just made that shit and man, it all just fell into play. That shit was crazy. Like dang, yeah, man, we brought <laughs> we did some shit for like, real. For real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm for me. You said Grantville, Grantville. Nah, Lutherville. Lutherville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to stay, bro. I used to stay in the grain, bro. I ain't, I ain't yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to stay in the grain, you know. Um, but with Lutherville, you know, I used to just drive through Lutherville because yeah. I know how the police is down there. Yeah. And Shit, it ain't no more, no more. It's up. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. Damn, I used to be scared of Lutherville, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, for sure. But what about you, my boy? Gonna say getting to the goals or like you know. So for you personally, I know the brand and the team is no cliche. Mm-hmm. But for you personally, what what do you see yourself out here from now, man? What's the goal? Honestly, man, it's hard to say because me, I fuck with the music, no doubt. But I can do so much shit. It's hard to say. You did what I'm saying. It's crazy. So it's really hard to say. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Oh, man. Country yeah. nigga shit. You feel me? We can do anything. We can do everything. I feel you. Man, you name it. I'm, I do music. You know, I rap. I sing. I can fix any fucking thing. You feel me? <laughs> okay. I want to get into acting. <laughs> oh, you know okay. I'm saying? It's so much shit I want to do. I'm just going to shit. Keep God just, first. And just keep leveling keep going, up. Keep leveling up. I know I'm going to be... I know I'm going to be straight financially in five years. I know my kids. Hell, they already straight. But it's sure enough going to be... I'm just... Yeah. I'm just trying to... Get my longevity shit straight. You did what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So in the long run, we'll be straight. Because right now, you know, I can't complain. You feel me? Right. But fuck now. We got to look for later. You did what I'm saying? Nah, That's for where real. I'm at right now, so. That's real. Like, real. That's real. I can see myself owning some shit in the next five years. Put it that way. Ownership. Own, owning some. Yeah. Yeah, that's Put real. That and futuristic, man, what about... And just to give the, um, people a little insight about the futuristic... The reason they call him futuristic, like he said, he known for breaking records. So, you right. know, being in that market is, is you know, Atlanta is the we the music maker. Fact. And with him being in that market, you know, he can he know how to tap in and say, oh, this finna break. You know, he thinking outside the box. So, you know, uh, what's next for you, bro, for us? Like, what's your goals and your plans, like, coming up, man? Just overall, what's your overall goal, bro? My overall goal is to make it, man. That's everybody's goal, you know what I'm saying? To get rich, be wealthy, mm. and you know what I'm saying? Live your life to the fullest. That's that's my ultimate goal. But, you know what I'm saying? My short-term goal 
is to get these clubs popping, you know what I'm saying? Like they used to, you know, before the pandemic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, everything lit. A lot of shit done fell off for sure. Exactly. They you coming get back. It back. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. With masks and all the extra and get, shit, it's and, hard. And get what? Get what? And get what he, like, what he finna do, bro? He finna bring back that. Mixtape series type shit. You know, he had yeah. DJ Drum or DJ Screen. Yeah. Uh, what's the that other? shit was going it's, crazy. It's, it's, crazy. It's, it's, we ain't got that no more. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Nigga got locked up behind we, this we, shit. We, we, need, so we need a street DJ Khaled. You feel me? That's what it is. And we need somebody fast. bringing them compilations together. We yeah. need that. For sure. You know, we need and that. Exactly. And I feel like artists need more exposure, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because DJs ain't doing that no more. Like they, breaking records. You got to have a check. You got to have something to bring to the table. You feel me? It ain't fucking with you all pure talent no more. Like, right. damn, this nigga. Because you got to realize, if I fuck with you and me and you lock in like for a lifetime right now, I'm using you, you using me. We got to lock in and understand that. You did what I'm saying? We got to right. be on one accord. Right. I use you for what you got. You use me for what I got. We got to right. come together so we can mm-hmm. get the... You did what I'm saying? And we going to break even in the end. Niggas ain't thinking exactly. like that. Yeah. And that's how I feel. And that's what I was talking to my um, my partner about. Like, listen, bro. Like, you ain't got to pay me to do this, bro. If you want to be to play your record, come to me, bro. I'll play it for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to get you out there. Exactly. And if you make it, we all make it. Exactly. exactly. That shit's working. I ain't gonna like cap on y'all though, bro. I'm, I look at it a little different, bro. Me and him, that like we we go back and forth about this shit, bro. I'm strictly goddamn looking at it like if I'm an artist, this is real shit, bro. Right. If I'm an artist, I don't give a fuck. This dude, excuse my language, you know, money to uh algorithm, like Star say algorithm. But I don't care if this is my brother or my dad. Hey, bro, you gonna be at the club? I'm gonna pay you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. sometimes that line between loyalty and exactly. business, it get crossed. But that's just going time. about the person, though. You but feel it, me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, bro, it's about, it's you know about what I'm loyalty, saying? bro. Yeah, because, I mean, regardless, you, it, regardless, brother, blood or not, you right. paying for the service. Right. You feel me? But folk look at it like, say, sometimes, shit, if I do something for stink, he might not even want to be. It be like, shit, he'll. Right, 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 right. You right. know what I'm saying? Vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's the same thing, bro. It's just all about the person, though. Yeah, that's okay. true. But everybody not like that. Nah, everybody not like that. Nah, everybody like that. But when it comes to money and business, bro, you got to know how to separate business from personal. Damn you know right. what I mean? Business a pleasure. Bro. Like, 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 real talk. Like, even with even with the podcasting, bro. Fact. You know what I mean? Like, you know, man, you had talk, you know what I'm saying, and, and how we can help. But fam, hey, I want to pull up. All right, bet. Man, y'all want to help me win? All right, bet. Support. Get what? This lifetime membership now. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. But... I guess I also too, man. You know, a lot of times now, well, you, I'm a dinosaur in the room. You know, I'm 37. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I know there's a change in the music climate between now and then. Right. So I guess if I always try to leave with a message with the youth, like if y'all can talk to the youth, you know what I mean? Like any advice you can give to any up and coming artist, what would you say, bro? Shit, honestly, bro, just, if if that what you want, bro, work for it. Go at it. Shit. Yeah. Get it done. Yeah, but you gotta stay clear of the fuck shit, cause you can't be on the fuck shit and still trying to make it as an artist. You know what I mean? Yeah, cause it's so much more. You gotta put your so much more shit that energy gotta go towards. You feel me? Right. As in recording, yeah. video, mm-hmm. anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything, bro. That shit, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. And most folks be sleep on that shit. Even marketing. You know what I mean? Marketing the big thing as an artist. You know what I mean? At this yeah. point, I'm looking for a marketer, cause I'm. I can't keep up with the posts and the certain times and the algorithm. That shit be hell. You feel me? Like now bro, you talking? That's what I'm saying. Like, cause I know, bro. Once you, once you get there, bro, Ooh. you you know, bro. It's you, it's that, it's at that point. You, you feel me? On that one, bro. You know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. Instagram are gonna pay you, bro. You feel me? Yeah. You get that algorithm right. I'm talking I'm y'all free game. Fuck it. Yeah. You get that algorithm right, bro. You get them posting on certain times and them shit. You Money them that, yeah. up. <laughs> Instagram gonna pay you for that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the thing. That's where the market to come in. Yeah. You might as well. You investing in yourself already. There you go. Yeah. Shit, pay for your marketing. Because, I mean, yo, people can share your shit a thousand times on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's still a, a broader prospect than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's still, you know what I mean? It's more people than that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you got to touch all of them. And, that, and that's why I respect you, bro, because I can tell you move as a business. You know right. what I'm saying? You move like yeah. a business, you know. But that's why I was, hey, bro, like, I'm doing I, this I, since I, high school. No, nah, for sure. It's strap, but strap keep me on point with that business shit. That's what I'm saying. Everything I know, if I'm huh, like, real keep, shit. Keep you on game. Yeah. For game. Like, real talk. Yeah. 
And what about you, my boy? If you can leave some words to the youth, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was a little couple minutes behind, but we, yeah. we got a lot in. Uh, what's some message you can, you can talk to anybody that may be watching? Really, man. For one, you got to stay with that goal, what you want to do. You did what I'm saying? And stay in your own fucking lane. Excuse my lane. What'd he say? What'd he say? The, uh, the, the algorithm. <laughs> yeah. I be hearing Star. Yeah. Y'all familiar with Star? Star Report. No. Oh, yeah, here, YouTube, man. Yeah. You can say it's not the algorithm. But, yeah. yeah, you know, you're right, though. But, yeah, but, yeah. You just got to, you know, keep that goal in mind and goddamn. You can be doing everything right, but it can be somebody with you on the fuck shit. You, you feel me? You just got to stay clear, stay positive, and keep your circle clean. For sure. Shit, other than that, bro, you keep God first. There ain't no way you can't. I hate to do the sway on you, bro. You got, like, a little sample. You got either singing or rapping, bro. This a this a first time on Can You Blame Me podcast I did. It. Shout out to my engineer. She yeah, know I ain't never did this before. Show. Hey, boom. Hey, you need a beat? <laughs> yes, I ain't no beat. Come on, bro. Get these folks a look. A... For the one y'all got together. What? Fat lane. Do fat lane verse. Yeah. Stay in my badges like it's Halloween. Forever solid, ain't no cap and ain't no folding me. Come from that side where we had grass, but it was never green. On the way out, just playing ball and staying in the streets. Reminiscing about the times when I was worry free. I ain't have shit to worry about, nobody but me. Busting pieces, fucking freakers from different cities. We stayed in the streets like we really had somewhere to be. Ooh. Hey, you got a reaction out of the engineer that time. <laughs> for sure. And that bit dropping May 21st. May 21st. On the way. For sure. We for sure. trying to shoot the video for that bit today. today that but cameraman, cameraman Jimmy, Yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't do it. I so. thought, hold on. I thought you said, hold on. I thought that was that was today. You, you nah, said I'm showing another video for my my for a song called Haunt next Sunday. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Because we were me. trying to shoot some shit today. You feel me for that song? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Cameraman G hit me back. He said he out of town. So for shit. sure. And bro, man, like for the like, like for up and coming DJs, and you know, what I mean, you gave a lot of game away today, man. What can you say to the youth, bro? Your last word for them, man. Hey, man, always be versatile, man, and be ready to adapt to the environment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you see a bunch of girls in the party, make them dance. You know what I'm saying? Get them involved. Don't just play stuff just for the niggas. You know what I'm saying? Always look at your crowd, know what's going on, and always stay solid and you know stay on your grind. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure, man. And um, last but not least, man, um, I had a, uh, you know, the female fan base, they reached out to me about, like, mental health and stuff, and I promised them I'm going to start incorporating that more. Right. So but before we get up out of here, I just want to check on y'all mental health, man. Like, just, how are y'all just mentally, bro? You know, it's a lot going on with the times now, just yeah. your space overall. I'm great compared to the past, you feel me? But, like, shit, that's that's my, that's important, you feel me? It's crazy you said that, because, like, I try to focus on that shit a lot, because I don't let shit get to me. I don't let folk get under my skin. I just sold it by me and my daughter, you feel me? That's exactly. the biggest part, you feel me? Right, exactly. right. It's just, like, I'm in my lane, you and your, you know what I mean? I yeah. ain't trying to, all the outside shit, you can stay outside. Right. You know what I mean? We in here. Yeah, for we sure. Going, you feel you me? Want, yeah, you got to do yeah. it for your daughter. Because that shit important, bro. I can't raise a daughter if I ain't mentally sane, you feel me? That shit, ain't, that shit ain't right. Your head ain't going to be right, you know what I mean? You're going to be mad. Yeah. You might try, you know You know how they say, when you discipline your child, don't do it out of anger mm-hmm. type shit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that shit could play a part if you ain't right mentally, you know nah, what I mean? That's real. So... And what about you, my boy, man? How you is, man? You know? Oh, man, I'm great, man. Man, I got kids. Like he said, that's my main motivation and shit. They're my biggest fans. They know all my shit word for word while I'm recording it. They right there, so. <laughs> man, I can't stop. You feel me? Nah, for real. Yeah, for you got a raspy man, voice. You, you got a rapper voice. Appreciate it. Yeah. A lot of folks tell me that, but yeah. shit. That's my main motivation. My health good. I can't complain. So the no. doctor, I'm gonna have the kid. I smoke broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> that was up, man. I'm glad to hear that, boy. And future risky, man. What about you, my boy? Man, everything you know. ain't smooth, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always protect my peace at all costs. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let nothing get in my way or what I got going on. No, nah, for real. And, and that's that on that. You feel me? No, nah, for real. But look, y'all, we finna wrap this interview up, man. I appreciate y'all each and every one of y'all, man. Right. Shout out to the whole team, NC. The team, man, yeah, the sure brand, no it. cliche, we here. Sure Can sure. you blame me? Ain't no problem, bro. Anytime, bro, y'all come yeah. back, pull up. Like, we locked yeah. in. Y'all keep me tuning in what y'all got going on. But Can You Blame Me podcast It's not just a podcast. It's a brand. And speaking of marketing, I'm glad you brought it up because right. I be forgetting about this shit. CYBM 
podcast.com. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. Y'all can get the merch. Y'all can get the latest news on the YouTube, the website, uh, upcoming events. God darn it. It's, it's, good. it's anything and everything you need. CYBMpodcast.com, man. Tell your dog, tell your cat, tell everybody, man. We here. We gone, man. Yes, sir. For sure. For sure. I like that, man. What's up, guys? Raphael here. And I want to ask y'all a quick question, man. Do y'all ever get tired of certain podcasts when you go on their website? They all in the website. They all over the text. They pictures all over the damn place, man. They all in the video. They everywhere. You can't. It look like a big old selfie. Just a, a page full of selfies. If so, come to Can You Blame Me podcast, man. We here. Because I don't need y'all to look at my cute face, man. I need y'all to click on my links. Man, look. Can You Blame Me podcast now had access to the latest merch, email listing, podcast guest forums, and news updates and everything that's anything about Can You Blame Me podcast. CYBMPodcast.com, bro. We here now. It ain't just a podcast. It's a brand. What are you waiting for, man? Hurry up and click that link, man. Go do it now, man. Tell them I sent you, though. Yes, sir. We gone.